Well, how are you all today? Welcome to Traveling with the Graham Cracker. Today is the final day of 2022. We've got a lot of wind today. I thought I would just give you a little look around and let you see our little camp. I'm being attacked by Mr. Quark. Off, off, off. Get down, get down. Anyway, today is the final day of 2022. We are camped with friends and uh, let me put this a little smaller. But we are camped with friends here, our group. We have Destination Open Road right there. Well, we've got our friend Jake right there. He's a fellow landowner with the rest of us. We have Mike, Mike, Mike or Mike times three as we call him. We got Dave's RV life. We got our friend Chuck. We got our friend Mary and her husband down in the Arctic Fox camper. We've got Aja right here. We've got the graham cracker right there. We've got Dory right there. Every day is Saturday. And we have our friend Jennifer and then our friend Jennifer and Jason. And then down here, way at the other end, way, way down here, if I get down here, there's a couple more people we've got down here that are friends. And I don't want to leave them out. But I don't know if they have a YouTube channel anymore. They used to. It's called Beastie Travels. And uh, I will link to each one of their there are channels in the bottom below. And then we've got Jeff with Kellogg playing over at Beastie's rig. Uh, that, that particular rig is called Karen, that is not Beastie. Beastie is their other vehicle. Uh, and then way down there is our friends Donnie and Colleen. But here's our group, camped here to, tonight to celebrate bringing in the new year. Next year, tomorrow, new year, starts season eight. The number seven is always the year or the number of completion, perfect number. The number eight is new beginnings. We lost Jake this year, which was a really bad thing at the end of the year. The loss of Jake has bothered me immensely and we're still here at the end of 2022 dealing with that loss and Mr. Quark Mr. Quark yes puppy boy go inside come on let's go inside inside good boy he has been he has been my saving grace he is a pill but he's been my saving grace Mr. Quark are you going to be a good boy he is a good boy. So, I want to thank each and every one of you. And I'm going to climb in here. And come into my not-so-clean kitchen. And I'm eating Christmas cookies. That's why my kitchen's not so clean. But, we're uh, going to sit down here. In my house here. Would you hush? Hi. Okay. I want to thank each and every one of you that have followed me this year and have come along and uh, watched our videos and subscribed and have given us a thumbs up and have just been a super support to me and uh, Quark here uh, and Jake when he was here. Um, but I want to thank you for coming along and being part of the Traveling with the Graham Cracker family. I look forward to reading your comments and I look forward to hearing from you every time I put out a video. I don't put out a video as often as I'd like. I'd love to be able to put one out every week. I don't often do that. Sometimes I have nothing to film and nothing to show you and it's just wasting your time for me to just come out there and just do this thing. Hopefully we can get more videos out this season. 
our channel uh, has changed as many of you saw last year we're spending half the year on the property in the homestead and half of the year on the road this year I am volunteering at the long-term visitors area in Quartzsite in LTVA North. I'm there on Wednesdays and Thursdays, so if you see my van up front, that means I'm working there and stop by and say hello. Um, gladly say hello to you. Uh, I will be in Quartzsite probably till the end of February for sure, maybe even into March. Um, I work from 9 till 4 on those two days a week and um, like I said stop by say hello uh, after after February um, I'm not sure when March sometime in March I hope to start migrating north towards the property and go and um, go there for a little bit and then uh, hopefully head further north to go get a job for the summer I'm really hopeful that I can get a job so that I can get um, fences and a carport put up at the property. Um, I will reach full retirement age in April, so I will be able to work um, without having restrictions. So I'm really hopeful and I'm hoping I can get um, things done and make the property a little more suited to um, cork and my needs. Now. If y'all are in the Flagstaff or William area sometime this summer, shoot me a text or a message through um, Graham Cracker Travels. The links are in the description below here. Um, and uh, we can discuss uh, if you want to come visit for a little bit, like uh, you know, a couple days or something. Just uh, look at those links and shoot me a text or an email. Um, right now um, like I said I'm not sure if I'm gonna be there this summer but if I am and you're in the area and things work out then you're more than welcome to uh, come and camp with me for a, a little bit um, other than that I don't know what I'm doing um, I want to make that home base more livable so that the van has a cover over it in the summer and cover over it um, for the monsoons and I want to get it to where I can keep the van warm if I have to stay there in the winter um, right now I'm not planning to stay on the property I am not that is not in the immediate plans to stay there full-time however if it comes to the point to where I cannot afford to travel anymore I will be staying there and once that occurs then I will um, be uh, I want it set up so I can have livestock and be able to provide my own food and provide all the other things that I need I want to thank all of you again for watching subscribing um, being part of the graham cracker family I want to thank all of those that supported me this summer through um, Amazon when I get back to the property this summer the Amazon will be in effect again and I'll put some new things out there that we'll need this summer to keep going forward I appreciate that uh, very very much um, I don't know about you but I think I like the Amazon thing because you all know where exactly your money's going you have control over that and I think that gives me peace of mind gives you peace of mind you know that I'm not squandering any gift that you send me because you're sending the gift the actual physical gift and I, I really like that idea um, anyway to make this video not super super long and to you know go on with the day the New Year's Eve I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas uh, I really appreciate those that came out to the birthday. I want to include right here some clips from the birthday party. Some of you have already seen the party on Aja's channel or others' channels. But, you know, I did take a couple clips. So right in here, I will put in the birthday video.
Hello travelers. If you're not here, you missed a heck of a party. We're about to get started and I'm going to go out and start photographing right now. We'll see you in a bit. We have oh, We have double pandas coming in <laughs> and we have really a pegasus wrong. and Christmas hat. I like your Christmas hat. I love your Christmas hat. Rainbow Dash. Oh, look at that. Wings. <laughs> yeah, he has a rainbow coming out of his arse. <laughs> that, that's a Scottish, Scottish Pegasus with a rainbow coming out of his arse. <laughs> Actually, Irish. The, the unit, yeah, the, the uh, pot of gold. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> somebody ate it somebody ate it she's looking around like she's about to blame somebody <laughs> where is chuck understood <laughs> oh it's the golden girl it's a golden girl it's a golden girl <laughs> You're okay now. Uh, You're okay now. Cute. You're okay now. Yeah. You see what it says up here? No. He's seen so you nice. when you are drinking. <laughs> and he knows when you are drunk. Uh, so have a beer for goodness sake. I love it with the puffy jacket on your knee. Thank you. Oh, everybody, let's do it. On the count of three, let's sing happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear lady. Happy birthday to you and many more. Thank you. I could use more. Thank you all for coming out here. This has been amazing. I'm glad you all came. I'm happy. Now, we are going to eat this food. Let's eat. Eat, eat. And just call it good. All right. This is the group photo. We've decided to do it in a panoramic vision today. This is the group that braved being here in the morning. And then we have Gaylene. And we have Ellie. And we have Paul. And we have Bob. Am I getting Bob? And we have, oh my God, it's Scotty. And then we have the other half of Scotty. No, <laughs> the birdie one, <laughs> Terry. I had to get my brain to collect. Oh my gosh, it's Aja, and it's Jennifer, and it's Chuck and Charles. No. Yeah, I meant Holly and Chuck. I am still messed up from last night. That's no, Brian. I can't even tell. Really? And I forgot your first name. Angela. Jim. Amy. Shatara. Wrong lady. Thank you. I'm bad. You're dragging your dog. My dog's supposed to walk. And that's Joel. And that's Dory over there. The rest of the people that are out here are sleeping. Okay, we're back. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed those clips of the uh, seventh year meetup at the Roadrunner 
in Quartzsite, Arizona for the subscriber meetup and birthday bash. I would like to do one possibly in the summer if I'm home, if I do not get a job. And uh, I'll have to do a questionnaire later on that subject if I do decide to do one. So keep an eyeball out for something like that. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a uh, well wishes for the new year. I hope and pray that 2013 is a much uh, better year for all of you. I know things are changing in this world. Um, I would say get prepared. Um, we have a blessed hope in Christ and that's what we're waiting for. But we're supposed to be diligent until he comes. And uh, hopefully and prayerfully we are ready when he does come. Anyway, have a wonderful new year. Have a blessed 2023. Um, follow your heart. Embrace your dreams and cherish your life. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Okay? All right, we'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.